Well, hello, my wonderful music students. This video is put together quickly for you so that you have a reminder as to how to do your reason to theory stuff. Uh, for people who uh, don't remember passwords and such, all of the information is going to be available to you in this video, along with some of the other locations that I'm going to remind you of. So uh, the first one is, that we're going to go to is, of course, uh, going straight into the music.ndcfinearts website. So again, the website, music.ndcfinearts.ca. Uh, that would be the easiest way to get to pretty close to everything you need here for music at Notre Dame Collegiate. Uh, so where you would want to go is to the menu, very top left-hand corner. If you're on a phone, it'll be the three lines thing, I'm sure. And then you're going to go into distance learning. And inside distance learning, there's a section there called Breezing Through. In this kind of the distance learning edition. So once you're here, you'll find all the passwords that you need as well as uh, links to get there. And so, for example, if you are a grade 7, 8, or 9 student, here's your username and here's your password. Uh, if you are a senior high student, then here's your username, here's your password. And what we're going to do, by the way, as a reminder, what you needed to do for Breezing Through through the school year, uh, that's any, anything that's labeled as regular, that's what you would have needed to have done for your regular uh, classroom mark. For your distance learning mini projects or larger projects, that's what these ones are for uh, in those various columns, the DL projects. So we're going to go into Breezing Through. I'm going to use the senior account, although it still looks pretty much the same for the junior high account. And what you'll need to do as soon as you get to Breezing Through or breezingthrough.com is go log in. Top right hand corner. And your login is going to be, I'm going to actually use the senior high edition this time. Your login, as we already mentioned, Notre Dame for senior high, Notre Dame JR for junior high. And then your password, that's either natural223 or note223. And when you log in, it's going to ask you what's your name. Now, you need to make sure you type in your name the exact same way you did every other time you used Breezing Through. Otherwise, it's not going to remember all the work that you've done. And so I'm now it'll also give you a choice as to which class it is that you're in uh, or which grade level you're in. I'm just going to use private because I have uh, that set up for me. And then you log in. Once you log in, looking at the screen, there's going to be a couple of options uh, that you can use. The one that if you're using the computer to do all this, then the one you want to use is uh, Breezing Through Next Gen Edition. So we're going to click on that guy. And it's going to load it up. It'll probably, it'll tell you uh, content or resume. Uh, it, if you go straight to resume, it'll take you to where you were left off. But if you don't even remember if, if that's even necessary, then you're going to go to content instead. So that's where I'm going to go. And here it's going to list all of the chapters that you've done. Now you'll notice here I haven't done a whole heck of a lot with this account, and that's fine. Some of you will actually look at chapter one and say, well, I haven't done, but I did that in previous years. Yeah, that may very well be. If you're not really sure which ones you absolutely have to do, check that lesson plan outline on uh, your for your mini projects, for your distance learning projects, and also compare it against Power School. See, in Power School, if you got a chapter done in previous years, you wouldn't have to do it again this year. So you might not have to do a whole bunch of them. For example, I have one student who completed something like eight chapters last year and therefore only had one left to do. So it looks to them like they didn't do anything in here, and yet they actually have. So the example I'm going to go for you right now is uh, the piano keyboard. So I'm just going to go into that chapter. And this is what it comes up with on that chapter. So Breezing Through's navigation is kind of weird. Once you get here, if you want to get into the chapter and actually do some of the work, you need to go to the bottom of the page right here where it says uh, Chapter Contents. And that will take you to the inside. So the part that I'm marking, the part that you need to do, are all the Mad Dash drills. So you can see that I've got one drill done here. It was 100%. Problem is... Uh, if you once you've completed this chapter and done all those drills, it'll still look like it's not done. It's because you probably haven't done the lessons. And that's fine. You don't have to do the lessons. I've taught those lessons, or you will have seen another video of me teaching those lessons, so you can use that instead. In any case, once you get to a place where you're stumped, if you don't remember how something's supposed to work, you can actually go back to these lessons at the top and watch through these lessons, listen to uh, lovely Jean explain everything to you, or you can actually go and check out some of the videos that I will have posted as well. So we're going to give go for an example right now. So we're going to say, we're naming piano keys, we're going to go name, and the, I've already done the white keys, so this time I'm going to do the black keys. So I'm going to click on it. 
and then it's going to give me this lovely screen. Now, you can't really see it very well right now, so I'll just kind of uh, switch to it uh, window only. Um, in that, well, in any case, there's a little button behind my face uh, that says start the drill. Let's see if I can get that for you taken care of now. Uh, there we go. Okay, here we go. So have a look at that. So there you go. Now you can see that really easily. And that's what I'm going to click on is start the drill. And once I've started the drill, it's going to give me this lovely screen where I have to either put in numbers or click on parts on the screen or something to that effect. If you happen to have a touch device, you can actually touch right onto the screen and put your answers in that way if you prefer. So here I go. Notice how it hasn't started the timer yet until I actually start clicking on things. So here we go. C sharp. There's one right here. There's an E flat there, B flat there. And if you don't remember how all that looks, then you'll need, oh, hang tight. It told me that I hadn't got everything done in here yet. So I'm going to go have click off that C sharp as well. Uh, well. Let's see here. It might not like me. We're going to have to give them all a try. A flat, B flat and E flat, G sharp, G flat, and F sharp, D sharp, C sharp, and A sharp, F sharp, D sharp, and apparently I'm now done. Woohoo! Ah, I did get it all right, so good thing too. And if I did get something, and actually I'm gonna give that as an example. What happens if I do something wrong? Well, I'm going to go redo this drill, and I'm purposefully going to give you something wrong. I'm going to say F sharp, sure, no problem. C sharp, sure, no problem. E flat, those ones are easy. And you can't, it's harder to make mistakes on this one. This one's one that's going to be weird. G flat. Well, let's pretend for a second I'm actually going to put it in as G sharp and be wrong. Then there's B flat, and then I'll get the rest of this right, just so you can see what that one wrong thing is going to look like. F sharp, D flat, B flat. G sharp, E flat, A sharp, one more set, here's A flat, F sharp, D sharp, all right, done. So there, now it's easy. So you, there is a section here where you can actually review your answers. So go ahead and click on the review, and you'll be able to go through there and see which ones you made the mistake on. And hopefully you'll be able to understand exactly what happened there. And if you don't, you can always send me a message and say, so um, why is this one wrong? And I can give you an answer on that. Um, once you're done checking it out, you can either redo the drill or you can submit it. Now, if you don't submit the drill, this is super important, okay? This is how important it is. If you don't submit the drill, you have to submit the drill. So please, 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 please make sure you click that submit drill button. If you don't do that, I don't get it. So you need to make sure that you click that submit drill button so that I get those marks in for you. Even if it's not 100%, although you really should be able to get these all at 100%. Once you're ready to go on to the next drill, you can either click to the right and do that one, or you can go all the way back to the chapter contents and kind of jump around a little bit if you wanted to. That's kind of the basics of all of breezing through. If you ever kind of get lost, usually when you get started in a drill, I'll give you an example here. When you get started in a drill and you want to stop, you can usually hit the X at the very bottom left to get out of this. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Click again because it asks me, are you sure? Yaha, yeah, I am definitely sure. And if you want to get to the very beginning of Breezing Through Theory again, you can just click on Breezing Through Theory and it'll bring you back to your chapter contents without any hassles. Okay, and there you go. That is your quick walkthrough through Breezing Through. Uh, you're welcome to, of course, rewind and watch anything else on this video again if you want to. Uh, I'm quite happy to see that happen. Um, and uh, with that, I want to say thank you guys very much for joining us on the Breezing Through Theory uh, walk around and walk through. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send me an email. I have no problems with answering any of those questions about it. You will have a wonderful day.